Okay, good, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tinch, and I am thrilled to have the opportunity to present our research on continuous relation extraction. In the next few minutes, I will introduce our work from the four aspects. At first, we all know the relation extraction involves learning to extract predefined relations from sentences. However, the real world is dynamic, and the requirements from that are involved. This brings us to a new approach known as continuous relation extraction. Continuous relation extraction is not just about extracting new relations, but also about retaining previously learned information. It is designed to learn a series of new tasks. Uh, continuous learning is a good idea, but it also suffers from catastrophic forgetting. From a technical perspective, catastrophic forgetting can be explained that the new relations learning tasks optimize the model's parameters, but this action disrupts the weights in orange model. <laughs> to solve this, the current solution lies in memory-based approaches. This method involves um, storing sa memory samples of same relations by replaying these memories during the training of new tasks. The model refreshes its knowledge. One of the early um, memory-based methods in this area, known as EMR, they opt to uh, create a memory batch for centralized replay. This approach, uh, while initial, initially effective, but led to the model's detachment. As we move to more current methods, we see an uh, attempt to integrate memory refreshing with the training samples. However, this approach often refresh memories at high frequencies, which may result in overfitting. Furthermore, most current methods apply a uniform allocation of memory samples across all relations. This uh, average strategies can handle the revisitation of relations that are poorly learned. From the previous slides, we have some challenges to solve. Now, let's take a moment to consider a technology from a different domain that can offer us some valuable insights. Dynamic random access memory drive. Also, no, also show, as shown in left figure, memory, memory cells in a drum array are arranged in a rectangle. Due to its physical properties, leak current is generated and causes the charge to be lost over time. When this leak leakage currents exceed a certain thread, they trigger a refresh command. This process is similar to the uh, catastrophic. Um, drawing parallel from DRAM, we can see the incorporation of DRAM is a natural solution to solve the challenges previous discussed. This is our in intuitive idea. As we move into the methodology section, for better understanding, we use um, uh, we use T to represent the task set and use C denote that sets. R is the relation set in C and uh, M represents the memory sets. Uh, in our approach, the basic the basic module is a prototype classi classifier with memory. This prototype representation is com computed as the main vector of the encoded um, representation of sample belong to that relation. Upon the arrival of a new task, these prototypes are initialized like the right figure. During the training process, the prototype for each relation is updated to maximize the distance between um, different relation prototypes. The underlying in intuition here is to enhance the discriminative power of the classifier by increasing the distance between the similar prototype. This is achieved through a loss function to realize it. Let's now introduce the core architecture of our model, which uh, consists of three main comp components. First, we have the perception. It generates a perspective, pers perceptive message via linear transformation. For learn the uh, relation R, we use the equation generate the relation score. 
And then the message will be constructed by all the lender relation and send to controller. The controller dynamically uh, locates memory based on perceptive message, starting the refresh process when necessary. It enables the consolidation of real mem will remember uh, relations while allocating additional memory for poorly learned relations. Finally, we have the refresher. This is components create mixed memory that by integrating new learn instance with selector instance from the memory. It then executes the predefined refreshing strategy. We will give the more detail in the next slide. We attempt to expand this existing memory based uh, methods and unify them in this theoret theoretical system. The first uh, centralized refresh um, distinctly creates a specific duration within the training phase, inclusive for memory refreshing. For the specific epoch J, the memory will train alone. The distribute refresh makes the memories into each training data before training. And then for each epoch, the mixed memory data will be trained. This strategy is used by the most uh, methods. But now there are some approaches that are starting to use a hybrid refresh strategy. Our, approach, uh, our proposed uh, asynchronous refresh strategy also falls into this category. This strategy strikes a balance between executive refreshing and uh, dedicating an extensive block of time for refreshing. Give, a, an, in, give an inter, interval A for memory refreshing. The mixed memory data is trained. Otherwise, we will train the current task only. Now let's move to the experimental part, where we evaluate our model using two datasets in continuous relation extraction. First, we have the fuel real dataset and the tech real dataset. In terms of baseline, we com compile our model against uh, three methods, EMAR, ERDA, and uh, CONPRL. Um, turning to the methods from our experiments, which is which are displayed in the tables and the graphs, our experimental setup involves dividing the learning process into eight distinct um, tasks and uh, do the continued learning in it. The results clearly demonstrate several key points. First, our model have a slight but significant um, if implement improvements across the tasks. Second, increasing the numbers of memory samples has been notably beneficial, particularly evident in the enhanced performance of our methods compared to the baseline. Ablation ab studies further explore the efficacy of our model's components. The first the first experiments add models one by one and uh, load three refreshing strategies to see their individual and uh, combined effects. The second is experiment is cross-model refreshing experiments. It focuses on applying the asynchronous refresh strategy across different methods. The results indicate that an um, asynchronous strategy effectively balances the current uh, um, refreshing method and easy to reply. Apply. Um, in the final, we focus on quantifying the degree of forgetting. To marry this, we employ a specific formula where the latter half quantifies the forgetting of task J relative to task K, and uh, the first half normalizes it. The results are shown in the table and the figure, which il illustrates the degree of forgetting from task one through task five, all relative to the task one. Um, the data consistent consistently show that uh, as more memory samples are allocated to poor trend relations, the model's ability to correct errors and uh, reduce forgetting improves. In summary, the proposed methods bridge the drum me mechanism with CRE, offering a new perspective to observe the pattern of refreshing memory. 
The, the first is a novel drum-like architecture is proposed and uh, memory refreshing strategies in continuous learning can be categorized uh, into centralized refreshing, distributed refreshing, and hybrid refreshing. The assigned kernels refreshing strategies can balance the disadvantage of the existing refreshing strategies and may be applied to other methods. Looking ahead, the assigned kernels refreshing strategies still does not does not fully address the problems of parameter drift and overfitting the existent method, and more flexible strategies are needed to guide the refresh of memory. Oh, sorry. Okay, thanks for your time and interest. This is all our work. Okay, thank you.